a spectacular thing to see because most of the river comes right out of the mountains. And if you access from here, which is a legal parking area, then all that is public land along the river. And so you can walk as far down there as you want, but there aren't really any trails. It's pretty rough. But you can get down there a long ways. It's a nice area, but you can't drive in many other places. A brown trout. Rainbow. Rainbow trout, okay. Little rainbow. You get below Osborne Bridge, there seems to be a, a deep channel that goes all the way along, even though it's flat water. There aren't many places you can get all the way across the river. And so a lot of times people like to use their boats and float and then get out and wade and come on down. And it's a nice day trip to put in at Osborne Bridge and take out here. That was absolutely fabulous the way he jumped. I don't know how big that fish is. Boy, did he come out when of the you, water. When you get them down here, they don't have any hook scars or anything either. I mean, they're not, nobody's bothering them. Oh, all right, buddy, I'll put him. Ah! And then the other thing you find in the canyon are lots of bait fish of different types. Little dace and shiners, immature, rainbow trout and lots of sculpins. So some streamers like a zonker and a woolhead sculpin are gonna work fine. That's a beautiful fish. Just perfectly proportioned. Three weight fish. Now on a three weight rod, that's a pretty stout fish. Look right there at them all rising. That big <laughs> pod. Right There's there. about Jeez, 10 at... of them. 